Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I am showing you how to make this super easy, super soft, super fluffy chocolate cake. It is eggless and I promise you, when you make this cake, this is going to be your go-to recipe every time you need a quick fix for chocolate cakes. So let's get straight into this recipe. So the very first thing that you want to do is preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius. Here in a bowl, I have taken some custard powder and to that I have added some caster sugar. Now while whisking this, I am going to gently and gradually start pouring some boiling hot milk. Now if you notice this, this is basically the process that you follow when you're making well custard so we are just going to do that and all the ingredients by the way the quantities they are down in the description box below I'm going to give it a good whisk for a couple of minutes and this will also help bring down the temperature of this liquid that we are whisking at this point. Now into this I'm going to add some yogurt or dahi. Into this I have added some baking soda and baking powder and I'm going to start giving this a good whisk until everything is well combined. You'll see that this mix will start to get foamy but we are not yet ready to add the other ingredients. We'll let this sit at room temperature for a couple of minutes, two to three minutes or so, you will start to see that it gets really thick and foamy. While that's working, I was wondering if you had a chance to make these eggless chocolate chip muffins. They are so incredibly fluffy and every bite comes with the molten goodness of dark chocolate chunks. I hope you have given this recipe a go. Let's get back to our chocolate cake. I'm going to start adding my dry ingredients now. So I've added some all-purpose flour and to that I've added some cocoa powder. Then I'll also add some caster sugar and then finally I'm going to add some edible vegetable oil. You can also add a teaspoon of instant coffee powder if you wish. I have skipped it in this recipe. I'm going to use my whisk and just combine until all the flowery bits have disappeared. You do not want to over mix the batter in this case, just until everything is well combined. As you can see, that has happened here and now I am just going to take my spatula and just fold the batter one last time to make sure there are no unmixed bits at the bottom. As you can see the batter looks really velvety and smooth we are now going to start baking this so here i have an 8 inch cake tin which i have greased and i've lined the bottom with parchment paper i'm going to pour my chocolate cake batter into this cake tin and just going to tap it along the surface to release any air bubbles they will rise to the top now this will bake in the oven at 160 degrees celsius for about 40 to 45 minutes or until a skewer or a knife inserted in the center emerges clean let it cool down completely once it's out of the oven and then we're just going to top it with this thick chocolate ganache the recipe is down in the description box below so I've added this ganache when it's still slightly warm because I wanted to get that dripping effect so this is exactly what we're going after now finally I'm going to top it with some chocolate coated butterscotch chip. You can even add chocolate sprinkles instead or just leave it the way it is. And here you can see that our chocolate cake is ready. I'm going to cut a slice and show you what it looks like on the inside. And there you go. This is easily one of the best chocolate cake recipes. It is super quick, super easy and super delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. I'll see you again next time. Until then, goodbye and happy baking.